I'm a physicist. We rank things by two parameters, energy and information. That's how we rank black holes. That's how we rank stars. That's how we rank civilizations in outer space. So a type one civilization is capable of harnessing planetary power. They control the weather, for example, earthquakes, volcanoes. They can modify the course of geologic events, sort of like Flash Gordon or Buck Rogers. <laughs> Type two would be stellar. They play with stars, entire stars. They use the entire energy output of a star, sort of like Star Trek. The Federation of Planets have colonized the nearby stars. So a type two would be sim somewhat similar to Star Trek. Type three would be galactic. They roam the galactic space lanes. And type three would be like Star Wars, a galactic civilization. Then one day I was giving this talk in London at the planetarium there, and the little boy comes up to me and he says, Professor, you're wrong. You're wrong. There's type four. And I told him, look, kid, <laughs> there are planets, stars, and galaxies. That's it, folks. And he kept persisting and saying, no, there's type four, the power of the continuum. And I thought about it for a moment. And I said to myself, is there an extra galactic source of energy, the continuum of Star Trek? And the answer is yes. There could be a type four. And that's dark energy. We now know that 73% of the energy of the universe is dark energy. Dark matter represents maybe 23% or so, and we only represent 4%. We're the oddballs. And so you begin to realize that, yeah, there could be type four, maybe even type five. 